Okay, so today what I'm gonna be coming up or going over is just a basic hobo fishing pole that you could make out of just uh, scraps, trash, ram stuff from my fishing kit. Um, you know, if you didn't want to just uh, hand toss your line into the water. So, what you can see here is these are actually eye hooks. I always keep those in my fishing pole or in my fishing kit just so I can actually do something like this. Uh, this is a lot fancier than it needs to be for a hobo pole, but this is just uh, some basic ideas you can get. So, the eye hooks, they serve their obvious purpose. You screw them in, you can run your line. I got one on the end here. Um, I wrap some line around the end here, just to keep it from uh, ever splitting. Uh, I got the hook on there. It's just hooked down there. And then we come down here and carve a little bit of the bark out, put some cord on there. It's got its obvious uses besides just grip texture. But here's my reel. So I just took a regular, uh, just a can, and put a nail through it. And I also took another piece of aluminum to make a little washer so it wouldn't just rip through the can. Um, and uh, to hold the tension on there, I just used a piece of wire, which I can use as, uh, I can't remember what it's called, like a fish keeper if I need to or a snare wire or whatever, but, um, on here, I have another eye hook there, I just, uh, put, put a stick through it, and then I could reel it in and out, so, we'll take, uh, this hook, we'll just, we'll just, uh, let's see, where can I hook this? It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but there. We'll just shove this right in the side there for a minute, and then, as you can see, when I uh, start to bring this back, this will unroll. And then, obviously, you just uh, reel it in the same way. So. Put that here. See if I can get that in the frame here. Usually I'd have a stick in there and I just wind it around, but for right now I just uh, hand wind it. And it's not really going to matter too much because anything you're really going to catch just bank fishing isn't going to be all that big. I This is a 65 pound test rated spider wire. So this can catch significantly larger things if necessary. And I cut this uh, branch off right from uh, the lake's edge. So uh, this does have plenty of spring to it and it does have a lot of uh, strength to it. I wrapped uh, the hook around um, about 300 feet of duct tape, which if anybody who knows anything about duct tape knows that that actually has some significant weight more than the average fish you'll catch and uh, lifted it up no problem with this so there you go there is your basic uh, fishing pole for a hobo um, the nail you have a lot of different options here I just chose just to bend it down makes it easy to keep the tension on here um, I think I already mentioned this before but wrap the hook just like you do on a regular pole and then I just wrap the wire through here through this eye hook just kind of snug down on it and it actually uh, holds it pretty nicely but there you go nothing too fancy or complicated and this uh, this will catch a lot a lot a lot of fish if you just have a little bit of practice and patience um, also, um, with this, I have the option of putting a little cover over it and maybe securing it down with a rubber band or something and actually keeping tackle and bait and whatnot in here. So that would be an extra little storage container I can use for all that stuff to make it completely self-contained. But, uh, I have another fishing kit and it's all with my other stuff, so there you go. That's about it.